Hello, I am Sitel Ko Manjit Singh. I'm an English language teacher in SMK Aikuning, Mambang Diawan, Kampa Para. I teach Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 classes. Today, I'll be teaching a lesson on invention to my Form 3 class. Okay, my lesson focuses on collaborative learning where students have to discuss in groups and come up with an invention to solve the problems given to them in groups. It also highlights the higher order thinking skills in Bloom's taxonomy which all teachers are familiar with. So the three aspects that I focused on were um, analyzing, creating and evaluating. So students were given a problem, they had to analyze the problem and come up with an invention to solve the problem and finally they had to evaluate the best invention and justify it. Okay class, what is this? Light! Okay, what would our life be like without a light? Shasha? Our life without light will be dark. Okay, it will be dark, thank you. Okay now, what is this class? Smartphone. Okay, so how different would our life be without a smartphone? Faiz? My life will be boring. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. What is this class? Computer. Okay, and how different would our life be like without a computer? Erin? We will be in trouble. Okay, you'll be in trouble. Okay, thank you, Erin. Okay, last one. What is this class? Washing machine. Okay, and how different would our life be without a washing machine? Shakina? Washing machine can help us to wash clothes. Okay, so without a washing machine? We can't wash clothes. Okay, you might have trouble in washing clothes. Okay, thank you very much. So now class, what are all these? There are four pictures in front. So who can tell me what are these? Afik? Technology. Okay, technology. You're almost there. Any more? Okay, Akhil? Invention. Invention. Okay, thank you very much. So all these, we call them invention. What are inventions for? To ease our work. Okay, to ease our work, to help us. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. Invention. But before that, let's just focus on this. Smartphone. So do you all have a smartphone? Yes. Okay, so can you just tell me three details? three special details that you look for when buying a smartphone. Hazik? Price. Price? Okay, very good. Next. Nakib? Brand. Okay. One more detail. Mm, Atira. Features. Features, yes. Okay. That's right. So, price, brand and features. Okay, class. Remember last week we learned vocabulary on making inquiries? Yes. Okay. So, now, who can tell me what questions do we ask when we want to find out more about a product? Okay, Mubashe. Excuse me, may I know? Excuse me, may I know? Excuse me, may I know? Okay. Any more? Okay, yes. Masita? Do you mind telling me? Okay, do you mind telling me? Okay, yes. Any other... Anyone else wants to try? Yes, Shakina? How much is the... Okay, how much is the price? Okay, very good. So, just in case you have forgotten, this is what we learned last week, okay? Excuse me, may I know? This is what Mubashe said. How much is the? What Shakina said. Could you please explain more? And finally, do you mind telling me? So these are the phrases that we will use later in our presentation. Okay, so now, I will give each group an envelope. Please don't do anything yet till you get my instructions. Okay. Okay now, so the leader of each group, 
Can you please open the envelope? Make sure you have four sheets of paper and three marker pens. Okay. So the first piece of paper is your group number. Okay. So next is your task. So this is the problem. Uh, Shukri, can you please read your task? You are suffering from a server back edge because of your heavy school bag. Come up with an invention to solve this issue. Remember, your invention has to be original. So, group 1 and group 2 has the similar problem, similar issue. Okay, now group 3. Akhil, would you mind reading the problem, please? Every morning, you are late to school. Despite setting alarms, you still have problem waking up in the morning. Come up with an invention to solve this issue. Remember, your invention has to be original. Okay, so group 3 and group 4, your problem is waking up late. Okay, let me ask you class. Do you face these two problems? Yes. Okay, how many of you have problems waking up late? Oh, got a number. And how many of you, you're having backache due to heavy bags? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have got some serious problems here. So now you have been given a problem. So in your groups, you have to come up with an invention. And remember, your invention has to be original. Original means you cannot produce something that is already in the market. Something that the world hasn't seen before. Okay, so now each group will be given two pieces of papers. The first piece is for you to draw your invention, your design. And the second piece of paper is for you to write description about your product. So you can probably write the price of the product, special features of the product, and where can you purchase the product. Okay, clear? Yes. Okay then. Okay, so now I'll give you one minute to decide who will do the drawing and who will write the description. Okay, so you can divide amongst yourself. Three, or up to you. Probably two can do the drawing. The other four can start on the description. So I leave it to you. But I'll just give you one minute. Okay? Okay. So start discussing who's going to do what. Just one minute. Quick. Okay then, so now you are given 20 minutes to come up with your design and the description. Your time starts now. So you are drawing a bag with wings. Okay, very good. Students are very active, inquisitive and hardworking. They enjoy learning English. No doubt they do make mistakes, but they never give up. So whenever they make mistakes, I will help to correct their grammar and vocabulary and tell them to keep trying. Okay, so now, before you present one by one, just now, in your envelope, did you see these two papers? Yes. Okay, so this is now the time for you to use this paper. As your friends come in front and present, I want you to fill in the blanks, okay? So if, let's say, in your friend's presentation, these details are not mentioned, that's when you ask them questions using these phrases. So each envelope, there were two. So you can choose two listeners, two people to listen and write. But everyone else has to listen together. So who would like to go first? Okay, Shasha, come. Before that, I'll take this.
Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to everyone. I'm from Group 1 and present about anti-gravity bag. This is the anti-gravity bag. The futures is, the price is only 500 ringgit, Malaysia. I think that it's not very too expensive because uh, the anti-gravity bag has solar panel, bag charger and gravity level magnitude. How to purchase this bag is, you can visit this bag at online Instagram and our blog. Visit us at www.shashaerinabila slash antigravitybag slash shook.afik.nakib.com The advantage of this anti-gravity bag is it doesn't pollute our environment. Next, how to use this bag is Firstly, turn on the switch to power the bag. The switch. And then, you must adjust the level gravity magnitude to reduce weight of the books. This is the level gravity magnitude. And then, you can use the bag without using more energy. Now, how to charge the bag? First, put the bag under the sunlight. Uh, solar power, use this solar panel. And use the electric charger when it is raining. I'm done. And I have a question. Okay, any questions? Okay, yes, Daniel. Excuse me, may I know how heavy is your bag? Okay, when you have the books, the weight is 5 kg. When you have used this anti-gravity bag, it reduces the weight and becomes 0 kg. Hmm. Did she answer your question? Yes. Okay, any other any questions? questions? No, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shasha, for a very interesting presentation. Okay, give her a round of applause. Okay, now we'll move to the next group. Group three, are you ready? Yes. Okay, then, please come forward. Okay, so now we'll continue with our problem, the first problem, heavy school bag. So group two, are you ready to present? Okay, please come forward. Okay, put side by side, huh? not too far. Okay, the rest of you, please listen carefully and jot down all the information. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to my friends. Today, I want to present about the bags. The bag name is Flying Bag and the price is 150 and 60 cents. This is the bag uh, discount for student. How to use it? Bag will control by the watch. This watch. Press button on this button on the watch and the bag will follow the owner. Then set the kilometers at the middle in the watch. How to get the bag with online? Any question? Yes, Fikri. Could you please explain more on how to charge your bag? This bag can charge with battery. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. So how many batteries do you need for the bag? Is one battery enough? No. Eight batteries. Okay. So you need eight batteries. Okay. Thank you, Hazik. But before that, class, just take a note. Bag will be controlled by a watch. Okay. And also, set the kilometers at the middle of the watch. Okay? Not in the watch. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, Hazik, you can bring this down. Okay, now the next group. Okay, so now that we have finished all the four presentations, I want to check your listening skills. Remember the paper I gave you just now? Yes. Okay, so did you manage to get all the details? Yes. Okay, so now let me check. The first group. Um, okay, Noras. Can you tell me what you have gathered from Group 1's presentation? The issue is heavy school bag. 
the in the name of the invention is anti gravity bag. The price is five hundred ringgit Malaysia. The weight of the product is five kg, but after use gravity bag, zero kg. And to purchase, go online at Instagram. Okay, was that correct? Okay, very good, Noras. Okay, so that sums up the lesson for today. So, this is what we did, invention. I gave you a problem and you came up with an invention. So, how was the activity? Very interesting. Who would like to answer? Yes, Shasha? Very interesting. Okay, thank you. Okay, so class, next time in the future, if you face any problems, do not give up. Okay, so think carefully and come up with the solution because every problem has got its own solution okay okay so thank you very much for today and have a great weekend ahead i feel that my lesson was a success as my learners were actively engaged and learning took place i hope that this lesson will be of some help to teachers out there and that they will be able to adopt and adapt this lesson taking into account the various learning styles and language fluency of their learners